What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. EA Sports have indeed upgraded the Fantasy FC cards. It's a shame that most of these cards now are just coming to their conclusion. Not many games left, not many upgrades to go because this was a fantastic promo. There is one, two, well, Stanway's the first one, but there is one particular player we're looking forward to to see for today's upgrade. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into these upgrades. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. We have got Stanway with full upgrades to a 93. They gave her, and you know, we talked about this in the last couple of uh, FC Fantasy videos that I did. I don't like the fact that when she got a plus one, she got two in two categories and one in four categories. But when she gets a plus three, she gets three pace, four shooting, four passing, three dribbling, three defending, three physical. So she similarly got three in four categories and only a plus one in one. Whereas if she got individual upgrades to a 91, to a 92, and then to a 93, she would have around plus two across the board everywhere else, which would just be delightful. However, we get what we get and we don't get upset. And Stanway... First of all, 80,000 coins is a bargain. There is one thing I don't like about this card. Playstyles are not it. Playstyles are elite. Four star, four stars are legit. High, high work rates are insane. Who cares about heading accuracy? Defending is elite. Physical is very, very good. 79 strength isn't too bad. Um, great passing. 98 long and short at 99. Vision at 98. Long shots are very good. Shooting otherwise is okay. Pace is very good. Dribbling is very good until you see composure. So she does only have 76 composure. But otherwise, this card is outrageous. You don't need to improve passing. I don't mind improving dribbling. Um, I would, Even though you don't need to improve passing, an engine is probably the best chem style because it gets all of these stats into the 90s. Pace into the 90s. Passing maxed out. Defending is insane. And it's just a great card. It's just a great card. Um, it's well worth trying for 80k. She gone from look at that. She's gone from like 40k up to 80k. Should have invested, shouldn't I? Next on the cards, we have got Sonia Bonpastor. She has gone from a 92 to a 93. One pace, two shooting, one passing and dribbling, one defending, two physical. Tell me that Sonia Bonpastor is not one of the best cards in the game. Four star, four star. Relentless plus, whip pass plus, dead ball inside, of anticipate, press proven, and quick step. Low on strength again, just like Stanway, but great defending. Very good passing, very good shooting, very good pace, ridiculous dribbling. Shadow chem style? Yes, please. Maybe an anchor, actually. An anchor there is great pace, great defending, big boost in physicals. I mean, that is a world-class card. I can't wait to see what team of the season is going to be like, guys, because if we've got cards like this now... In March, mm, what is team of the season going to be? We have got the one that everybody wanted, Rolfo, up to a 93. She got done not nice in the plus three, as we've already discussed, but in the plus one, she got one pace and shooting, two passing, and two physical, which is really nice because this, this uh, Rolfo and Verna, for me personally, are probably the best two SBCs of the year. Maybe Eusebio and players like that, but this Rolfo is just a joke now. Great pace, positioning, finishing, shot power are brilliant. Long shots, volleys are very good. Great passing, very good physicals other than aggression. Very good defending, very good dribbling. Four star, five star, and very good play styles. Ping pass plus is brilliant. Whip pass, relentless, quick step, first touch, and technical are great. Trickster plus, not personally for me, but I know some people like it. And you can do... Almost anything you want with this card. Shadow, banging fullback. Banging centre back, to be fair, probably a bit short, but 97 rated uh, fullback with a shadow. Anchor, 96 rated fullback. You want to give her an engine, you've got yourself an insane winger there with great pace, great dribbling, great passing. You want to give her a finisher, why not? She's a 96.2 rated striker. You want to give her a dead eye, pop her in a cam there, 97 rated cam. You want to just give her a basic and probably just boost up every single stat. Who says no? Not every single stab, you know what I mean. Who says no? Who says no? This card, wherever you want to play her, you can. She is one of the best cards in the game. She is the best SBC in the game. 
and I'm glad I completed her. 623k looks like a bargain now, doesn't it? An absolute bargain. We have also got upgraded. This is a ladies' edition this time, guys, because uh, all the men obviously on international duty. Although I think, when was the Yago Aspasis? No, that was last time around. We have got Majri up to a 91. See, this is what I mean about Majri. She's only gone to plus three altogether, 88 to, to 91. But she's gained four pace, five shooting, three passing, three dribbling, four defending, and five physical. It's a massive upgrade for a plus three. The plus one that she did get, one pace, two shot, one pass and dribbling, one defending, two physical. I really liked this card. Uh, again, another one that's unbelievably cheap. 83,000 coins for somebody with five star, four star. Press proven plus, technical plus, all brilliant. Tiki Taka whipped, flare tricks to Traveller Acrobatic, all brilliant. Dribbling is insane. Short passing, crossing, vision are good. Shooting's very good. Pace is good. I mean, maybe I'm going to Maestro here. Maybe I'm going to Maestro. Boost up that passing so it's all elite. Boost up some of the shooting so the shooting's top tier. Acceleration sprint speed's still good. Dribbling now is elite tier. He's a banging center mid, banging cam. You could play like a shadow on her. What's her height and, and whatnot? Five foot five, medium height. Ooh, yeah, I don't mind that, actually. Is a secondary DM or is it like a playmaker? He could be absolutely fantastic, but it's just another card that is outrageously good. And this is why the live promos are just the best. Who doesn't like the lives? Everybody does. We have also got ourselves... Uh, who is it? Midamar is now up to a 91. The Arsenal women did score a couple of late goals to win the game. We need, I think it's like five goals against Brentford to get a third upgrade for Midamar. I'm hoping that she'll be fit for that game as well. And so a goal and an assist for her would be good. A goal or an assist. Um, so she's got potential of two more to come. But she did get two pace on this card. One shooting, two passing, one's across the board elsewhere. I have used this card a lot, thanks to my Arsenal RTG. And it is brilliant the fact that they gave her plus two pace might honestly make this card one of the best in the game and it's another card look it's thirty nine thousand coins right the 96 rated striker and you might be like oh but net doesn't have like meta characteristics she's four star four star which is good obviously you prefer fives somewhere but it's very good five foot ten which is good she's got power shot plus which is amazing first touch plus which is amazing Literally insane play styles. Finesse shot, chip shot, nobody cares about. Tiki tack is brilliant. Technical is very good. Press proven is brilliant. Aerial is very good. She's got ridiculous physicals. A little low on aggression, but otherwise, otherwise great physicals. L little low on agility and balance. Otherwise insane dribbling with 96 composure. Has got decent short passing for a striker. And then like top end pace, top end shooting. This card is genuinely unreal. And it's 40k. Got Got to try it out, guys. Got to try it out. Just buy her, try her, and then go back again. We've got Martins, who's been upgraded. She got one pace and shooting and passing and dribbling, two defending and physical. I have used this card as well. I packed so many of these cards thanks to the exchange, and I have used so many of these cards, and I really liked this Martins card. I think she's still got capability of getting upgraded more. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but this card's so good. Five star, four star, first touch plus, incisive pass plus, otherwise brilliant play styles. Other than reactions and balance, dribbling's brilliant. Physical's not the best. Shooting's brilliant. Passing's very good. Pace is very good. I think you've even got to give an engine here. A great passing, great dribbling, and great uh, pace, and already great shooting. Or, in my personal opinion, I'll be going back to that Maestro again. That's right. I do love the Maestro. Gives her insane dribbling insane passing insane shooting especially from range it's a 96 cam with more upgrades to come Oof. easy links as well because everyone's got Mbappe Martins there is an upgrade we have also got there's a few more to come yet wasn't Chloe Kelly not Grealish not Chalanoglu not Politano not Vola not Futre Alex Scott finally got an upgrade as well. She can't get any more. Oh, she can get another upgrade, actually. Again, if we score five against Brentford. She got one pace, one shooting, one passing, one dribbling, two defending and two physical, which for her is amazing, like, for this card. Two options for this card. Three star, four star is nice. Play styles are very nice. You could either give an anchor to boost those physicals, and all of a sudden she's got great physicals, great defending, very good pace. 
good passing, very good dribbling, and is a very good right back. Or if you like just insane pace, a shadow gives her top pace, high level defending, brilliant defending, and then same on the other stats. Either way, if you did this SBC, nice little upgrade for Alex Scott there. Hopefully, one more to come. We've also got, where are we? Not Adli, not Kandreva. Pasquero got upgraded plus three. They gave her four pace. Four shooting, four passing, three dribbling, three defending, and three physical. This card is 30k. She's got aerial plus, which is quite good. 5-9 as well, not too bad. Relentless anticipate, block jockey, long wall pass, ping pass. Not a bad card, to be fair. Pretty low on agility and balance and dribbling in general. Great passing other than vision. With the shadow chem style. Great pace, great defending. A 95 rated center back. This, this might just be one of those cards I just want to try. Just to have a go, see see how she plays. Maybe we'll get her in draft and uh, have a have a go with her in draft. Um, we have also got who else are we missing? We're missing one, two, two more to come, guys. Two more to come, and they are going to be Carl has been upgraded to an eighty nine. One pace shooting, two passing, and physical. One dribbling and defending. Twenty two k for this Carl card. Good card. Four star, four star. Can play left back as well. Jockey plus. Brilliant play styles. Real nice dribbling. Not the best long passing. Not the best passing in general, but with a shadow. Great pace. Great defending. Well rounded stats. Not a bad card at all. And then last but not least, we have also got. Let me see if I can uh, find where she is. It is Nerea Izagire. Now, she was the objective player, of course. They gave her one pace, two shooting, one dribbling, one passing, two defending, one physical. Um, she is four star, four star, incisive pass plus with really good play styles. Finesse shot, ping pass, tiki tacker, all brilliant. Technical, first touch and traveller, all brilliant. Flair, bit whatever. Low composure on this card as well, but really good pace, really good shooting, really good passing. Okay physicals. I personally like, I really, really, out, out of all of the defensive uh like categories, I personally rate interceptions and defensive awareness the best. So I wouldn't focus on her defending. I'll just leave it there. Um, low composure, low reactions, decent pace. I'm probably giving her an engine. Great agility and balance, great dribbling, great pace, great passing, good shooting. For an objective card, this is a decent one. It's not the best in the world. It's not the worst in the world, but it is one of 10 upgrades that we got today, guys. So did any of these cards get into your team? Did you already have Rolfo in your team? Are you going to try Scott, Bon Pastor, Stanway, Majri, Mertens, Midamar? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.